I'm Mesha with Stand Him and Come With Me, a transformational journey without and within. And today I want to talk a little more about our Divine Soul Blueprint. That's one of the big topics that we're going to have on the YouTube channel in 2021. Our Divine Soul Blueprint is the optimal life that we came here to live. It is where our best and highest good is at. It is where our abundance is at. Of course, there are other timelines below it that we can choose to live. Now, whatever timeline you pick to live, that's up to you. But, whenever you do decide to change timelines, perhaps you've been living here, and you have this spark, something that inspires you to change, to do something bigger. That's when the divine is telling you you're ready to up-level. That's your intuition telling you it's time. You're ready. What happens, though, is the mind kicks in and starts saying, mm, that can't be for you. That's not for you. My friend Mora likes to say, this is, um, we're protecting ourselves. And um, it's a defense mechanism. And she likes to say, thank you very much. I've got this. I thank her so much for teaching me that. And I agree with her. The other things that happen to us, though, are the people around us say the same things because they try to protect us, too, because they don't see, because they're staying in the same timeline, or they don't feel what we're feeling. Also, the different programming that we have, the different things that have happened to us in our lives, it causes us to, those things cause us to doubt as well. But you say, how do you know that that's really what it is? How do you know that it's not just some bad idea that you've got? Well, anytime there's something that sparks you inside and you just feel it and you know it feels so right, it makes you feel alive, it brings you joy and happiness and inspiration, you're drawn to it. But then the mind kicks in with, but. That's a guarantee that that's the divine trying to up-level you. So then you have a choice to make. Do I want to live an up-leveled life, or do I want to stay where I'm at? And the choice is yours. Now, if you choose to stay where you're at, I know for a fact, and what I always talk about is my own life here. So um, I never, if, if I'm talking about something that's purely theoretical to me, I will say so. I, I always talk freely and openly about the own, my own path and my own journey and the things that I've gone through. So I know for a fact that when you don't do what's here and you stay here. You're miserable. You're not really happy. You try to be, but you're just not. Whenever we're not being all we know we can be, we're not happy people. Now, some people never realize that's what's going on with them. They just know they're not happy. Others realize that there's something they really want. They don't understand what's holding them back from going to get it. And then others decide to go get it. And then different things knock them off their path. What kind of things knock us off our path? Well, I can talk about that too. And I did the other day. A lot of it has to do with um, if you let other people's energies impact you. And that's a big one, especially now that so many of us are being opened up as empathic and intuitive. We have to learn how to keep um, other people's energies from impacting our decisions. And we have to learn how to keep our own energy clean. We have to cleanse our energy every day. The other thing we can do is choose what we allow into our lives and who we allow into our lives. Now, I know this can be difficult. Sometimes the person who is the most draining on us who, or who changes our vibration the most or who makes impacts us um, the most against what we're wanting are the people 
that we have to be around. Well, first of all, have to is an awfully strong word. This is your life and your journey. Do you really have to be? Are there other solutions? Are there creative ways to do it? If it's a job, can you work from home? Or can you change jobs? Maybe that's part of what up-leveling means for you. Maybe moving up in your divine soul blueprint means you change jobs, change careers entirely. Maybe it's your own child that is doing it. Well, you certainly don't want to turn your back on your own child. So maybe you have to find a different way to relate with your child. Maybe that's part of what up-leveling is. Maybe that's one of the lessons you need to learn. One of the challenges you have is communicating differently or having a different relationship with that child. Maybe it's your spouse. Maybe that relationship has taught you all the lessons it was supposed to, and it's time to move on. Now, I know that in some circles, that's not acceptable talk. That's when talking about societal norms, keeping us from living our best lives possible. If it's from here, and it's guiding you to do something, what do you need to listen to? What society is telling you? When you're miserable? Or what here is telling you? Maybe it's that job that everybody thinks you should stay in because you're making a ton of money at it. But you hate it. Every day, it feels like such an elephant on your chest. And there's something else that you've been inspired with. And you're not going to make as much money at first. Do you listen to what society thinks you should do? Everybody around you? Well, you'd be crazy if you left that job. Or do you follow here? It's your life. So, when we're up-leveling, sometimes those are the hard decisions we have to make. And I know how hard they are. And they get harder if we're letting other people's energy around us influence. But it's not just other people's energy. It's what we listen to in the background, even. I was a news junkie. Still am. I still feel sometimes like, wow, you've disconnected too much. But I listen to the news all the time. That was a huge mistake for me because I kept negativity playing in the background all the time. And just catching bits and pieces of it was feeding negative energy into my life. Didn't even realize it. The music we listened to. I grew up playing and singing country music. I'm not talking bad about country music, but the truth of the matter is a lot of the songs are very sad. I write and people will say even now, so do you still write country? Do you still sing country? I call it Mesha music. I will occasionally write a sad song or songs that have kind of a sad slant to them, but I really reject that for the most part, for the most part. Um, earlier this week, uh, two songs back to back come to me. One of them, I wrote it, but I just put it away. I wrote it because it was in me and I got it out of me, but it was just too, too sad. I don't want that in my life. So even though it was inspired and when it had to come out, I didn't do anything else with it because it's too sad. It doesn't fit with where I want to be. So. So I, I don't even listen, to, I, I've listened to the music I do listen to, I, I want to move to it. I want stuff that helps raise my vibration. You see, that's the thing. We have to decide to be at a high vibration. And that's another topic that we're going to talk about a whole lot. And I'm not going to get into today. Maybe we'll do that one tomorrow. I'm just giving you bits and pieces of what we're going to be talking about in depth. Let's stay home and come with me. A Transformational Journey Without Within 2021, the YouTube channel. And I hope you see why I'm saying that what I'm really talking about is you living authentically home here from your heart.
journey, with me on this journey, doing it your way. Close your eyes, open your minds. Close your eyes, open your mind and come on.